Hey, what's happening, everybody? I am back to finally talk about Mortal Kombat 1 gameplay. So, the beta happened and is still going on while I am recording this. However, I wasn't able to get a code. It was a whole thing, so I didn't. I don't want to go into it, but thankfully, thanks to this person named uh, the Teeny. I'm hoping I'm saying your name right. Big thank you again to this. We were. He was able to game share it utilizing parsec and i was able to go through and do at least one tower on the game so i just wanted to show my footage and give my thoughts on the gameplay so without further ado let me show off the gameplay so i went with sub-zero and kano for the tower i didn't really use the cameo system as much because i was really more focused on like how was sub-zero was playing from a lot of the footage i was seeing but yeah here we go so also, there was a slight bit of delay, but also right when I was looking at it, I, I was enjoying a lot of the visuals, especially. They looked so stunning when I was looking at them up close. But yeah, I was, I started to get the hang of using the, uh, his head and skull spine combo, where he was like throwing a sculpture of like a head attached to a sp spine. It was like, it was probably one of my favorite combos to use. It was a really good feel because... For me, I don't really play Sub-Zero as much in Mortal Kombat, because, like, I'd say the most I ever played of him was maybe in MKX. And with Eleven, while it was fun, I didn't like how he used axes, but here, I liked his playstyle a lot more. It felt a lot more creative, especially right here, if you saw the Ice Spear attacks. I like how they add that as, like, an end result. And yeah, I started to use that a lot. I was, I'm getting the low jabs in. The ice ball feels a lot quicker and a lot better. I I tried to I couldn't get any uh I couldn't get any air combos out as much. I kept my gameplay grounded a lot. But I did also like how he was incorporating the ice clone into some of his combos. But yep, there you go. As you can see, I was able to finish up the first match. I was also worried that I had to like be careful on how I play because his rules, uh, Teeny's rules were if you lose, that was it. So I was not trying to lose at all when I was playing this. So I was like playing very carefully and a bit more aggressive than I was. So yeah, I tried the jump attacks and tried to see if I can combo it. I was so annoyed. I couldn't like, I got a pop up going, but I couldn't combo into it. It was, I wish I could. But yeah, I, I did like that though. So yeah, she does freeze in the middle of that combo that you just saw. But yep, here we go. I try the jump attack, and they brought back the ground ice, and it is so much better than how it was in the previous games. But, but yeah, also look at this. So this, I was surprised on how this operated. So hold on, so let me play it back. So yeah, when you do the amplified ice clone, also I just realized something, I have to like, uh, move that a bit when you do the amplified ice clone where it does three different clones if they don't it's not where like she'll just stay on the first clone she'll just be juggled into the third clone that that looks so much better than how i thought it was going to be because like i thought it was just pretty much going to be like traps where um they would just like fall into but this was a lot better than i thought i like how they would just like consecutively fall into it it's like how when you would play cyrax and you would have like the three consecutive bombs they would just juggle over and over until like they reached the final bomb and then you could finish off the combo that was sick yeah i like paused for a second i was like i was just flabbergasted on what just happened i was like this is the game this is the game where i'm gonna be playing sub-zero oh my gosh but yeah, as you can see at the top, that you did have two meters. So I did use Kano a bit, so I was able to... I tried his, uh, I guess what pretty much two moves that happened were his ball roll and his laser blast. When, you, when he did the laser blast, he would push your character down while he did the laser blast. So pretty much he would just make... Sh he would like stop you from moving while that happens. Oh, and I guess, oh, I didn't even notice. So, your the cameos do get hit while in play. So, if you try to, like, summon them, they can also get hit, like, an assist. That, there we go. Or, oh, I hit him. I just realized I hit him. <laughs> I was wondering could that happen. I was trying to, com I guess that's what happened. I was trying to combo, and then, boom. 
I friendly fired the man. My B, Kano. My B. I mean, then again, uh, <laughs> you're used to it. Oh, yeah. I had to screen record this, by the way, because so what? how I got the footage as well was um, he was screen sharing uh, through his stream. So I went to a, so I used my phone to also capture that footage. But yep, here we go. Liu Kang was a, a lot of fun to fight. Mainly for a lot of his kicks. Also, he was talking as well. Because he was also trying to revive codes for people, which is great. This guy was so good on helping the community out. But yeah, Liu Kang's attacks up close look so great to look upon. Especially the kicks. Like, look at these kicks. I like the fireballs as well. The fireball attacks, or the fire dragon attacks, where he switches off between, like, I'd say the fire and then lightning. He also has, like, a combination of the two. Also, here we go. So this... I was excited when I saw this happen and like scared on what happened so pretty much I went with a fatal blow and as you can see they went with the style on how Injustice 2 did it where your character would like have this animation where they're charging up and then throw the attack out and that and as you can see it didn't work I got hit out of it so I guess it will be much easier to hit characters out of like their fatal blows but yeah here we go damage them out of it uppercut him and i kept my distance and boom now i did it again now this was also cool to see but also as you can see here if you do it the cameo gets one hit in but then afterwards it's all you it's all your character but yeah i liked how that looked because it's also a reference to how to, and what happened to uh, MK Scorpion's Revenge, where Sub Zero was finishes off Scorpion, or I'd say Quan Chi. That low dragon fire. Hold up, let me talk about that low dragon fire real quick. So look, the way it travels. I like how it wiggles downward as it like travels. It's like a, such a sick animation on how they got that to operate. That's probably one of the best things they got to do for the uh, attacks Liu Kang has. So I guess that's supposed to- I forgot, so I think that's also supposed to be Liu Kang's uh, bicycle kick, just for how it operates, because like, I didn't see his bicycle kick anywhere else, and the way it operates though is sick, because like, he just does like a small tornado kick, similar to like, I'd say, Ryu, but like, also spins his like, body as well, like, look at that, look! I didn't really feel any- I didn't really take much hits from like, Sonya. Oh, and that, this is all. This was another thing I didn't even realize. So, I guess when I do an amplified ground ice while I'm still doing a combo, it just slowly slows down the opponent. So, like, they're still able to move. But hold on, let me go back to it. It's getting there. So yeah, right here. So yeah, as you can see, the char the character is like slowly able to move, like the top part of their body, and then they're able to break out. So it's like slows down the opponent for like a brief second. <laughs> Sonya got hit by that. That's funny. <laughs> yep, froze the opponent. Kept a clone. I mean, this was also another thing I realized because I would try this a lot in Mortal Kombat 9, where I would I would try to like do a combo and escape with a nice clone just to keep myself distance. But this was cool. But yeah, I liked how I was able to do this. So I was able to do a combo. And then use the ice clone to give myself distance. I feel that if they definitely need to keep that. And I'm also curious on how this will operate. Because that will like be one of the safest things Sub-Zero can have for this game. And I'm curious if that will stick around. But yep, get him with the sweep. And then boom. And then I just have one more match after this. Which is against Kenshi. Kenshi's look as well was great. I especially like how he operated as well. Because I saw a lot of people- Oh, I forgot. This is another thing I'm slightly annoyed about. Is that he, he Sub-Zero stole Kung Lao's ice kick or dive kicks. He took the dive kick. He copied his flow. He stole his whole flow. But it look it's still but I'm not gonna blame him because technically. Sub-Zero did have that as a move 
in Mortal Kombat 9, if you played Cyber Sub-Zero, he has a dive kick. And funny enough, he also has that dive kick when you do his X-Ray, which is like the only X-Ray you're able to use while in the air. But yeah, he tries to swipe at me, keeps his distance, and pretty much zoning me. That's like the first, I, that was like pretty much my first, uh interaction with like being zoned for the game and my only one since i'll have to wait till august but yeah it looks like the uh the sphere just like sento just waits to like throw out attacks it's pretty much like how a puppet character operates in like another in other fighting games like if you're not familiar with uh puppet characters you'll pretty much have them out and they'll like um still be operating on the field a uh, good example of this would be uh, Zato 1 from Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, I'm trying to also think. Uh, dang it, I forgot. Ah, I just forgot his name. I think it's uh, Re Relius Clover. Relius Clover from Blaze Blue. Chaos from Under Nine and Birth. And I think that's it. I don't think there's any other clones. If I missed a. Uh, a public any other character public characters let me know because of, that's a very cool design in my opinion for how a character should operate but yeah here we go oh he misses i thought he got it with on me i don't i thought he actually hit me with it but yeah people that's a pop-up for him and i missed that or was that hit i guess that was his cameo Oh gosh, I can't, I didn't even tell the difference on how the cameos look for right here, because we both use Kano, so I don't know what's different about his. Yeah, look, they look the same. But yep, kept comboing him into the corner. That was also great, I didn't even realize. So, what I did right there was I used the, I was still using the dive kick, but when you use the dive kick amplified, it will become like this ground ice punch on the ground like an i'd say like an earthquake type of hit where it'll just like send like a wave of ice on the ground but it didn't really do much because like he did low block though funny enough but yeah so this is another thing to also keep in mind so as you probably know some cameos are also able to um interact with throws but that's only for the forward throws if you do a forward throw the cameo will be added into your uh throw as for like a back throw that's all your character you don't have to worry about your cameo being utilized that at that point i think i did see some cameos uh throws be amplified so i'm curious how that will operate but yep got him frozen tripped him got him again with that I just pretty much kept <laughs> comboing and then going into the ice clone. It was a fun way, way to operate. Got, got him with that again. Alright. And that's it. And there we go. But yeah. Overall, the game definitely is how I wanted it to play. Um, from like the next, from another standpoint. Because with how Eleven was... It li it tried to make you have creativity by like having you have your own set of moves, but the issue with that is you're playing it to you're playing it in a way where you're trying to play instead of how the game has you playing it. I that might not make make sense, but pretty much you're playing in a way where it's not the same as everyone else, and you have to constantly adjust based on everyone else's uh, variation. Whereas here, everyone is their own complete character. And with this one especially, I felt like I had the most fun playing Sub-Zero with having multiple Ice Clones, the different set of combos, and additional moves he was given for his character. And I definitely wish I could have tried everyone else, but um, I'll, have, I'll probably have to like see if I can like talk to other people who have played the beta because I think they'll have a bit more experience, but from a standpoint, I'm definitely excited for how the game is operating right now, and I'm hoping we get to see more info now, because um, the beta is now ended, so I'm curious if we'll like, hear more about other characters that will be joining the roster. So, let me know what you thought about this, and what you thought about the beta, and what you hope to see 
um, more of in MK1. And be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And thank y'all for watching. And I'll see y'all soon.